uh, I have to tell you, as a movie reviewer for Christians, and I always say pray the movies, I want to tell you to not go to the movie called Assassination Nation. Uh, I, I kind of read the previews before I went, wasn't looking forward to it, I was afraid of what it might be, but I thought, oh, maybe it's not so. I mean, the reviews, of course, by liberals or atheists or whatever the case may be, are kind of think, oh, this is a clever movie, but I can tell from the way they're talking about it that it's probably a foul mouth, F-word, bomb, vulgar, crude film, and in fact, I was right. I walked out after the first 10 minutes. It was just so filthy. And, uh, wow, I have to say shame on the producer of this film and, and those who participated. And it's really, it really is a, a new low, I think. Uh, I walked out of one similar to that a couple, I don't know, maybe six months ago. I forget the name of it, but they get these young gals actresses, you know, probably in their low 20s, but they kind of look like teenagers, and they get them to say some filthy stuff, sexual stuff, uh, and do things suggestive or actual on the screen that's borderline getting to the X-rated. It's X-rated in terms of language, if not, it's not going so far as putting the actions of that language on screen, but it's it's disgusting stuff, and you really need to stay away from it. And uh, the only thing I can say is pray for these people who are. Some of them I get, uh, uh, I think they they think it's glamorous just to get a, in a Hollywood movie and they'll do anything, say anything. Uh, others are just you know reprobates with no morals or values. They don't care if we'll do anything for money. Um, pray for these people. I mean, the next thing for them is is, is uh, X-rated films, of course. Maybe some of them already are in that. Uh, pray about that. It's a big problem. Porno in, in America and around the world. Here in Los Angeles, they say most, a lot of the pornography comes from right here in the San, San Fernando Valley. It's a terrible, terrible thing. Terrible for our young people all over the internet, of course. And destroys marriages, destroys families, destroys ministries in some cases, pastors. So we are prayer Lord, in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit for those demons of pornography that infect so much of our culture today. And uh, we have to say shame on them, repent, and fellow Christians need to rebuke them, you know, online, whatever, writing letters. You can write letters to, to people, to Congress, to uh, politicians, to the actual filmmakers. You can find a, usually a mailing address to get to them somehow. And they probably won't listen, but you never know. Crazier things have happened. Look at Paul on the road to Damascus. Saul became Paul. So let us keep praying about these things that are so hard on our people, our young people especially, but all ages, in fact. Even women. Women as victims because they some of them get lured into that industry for money. Others who actually become viewers, uh, consumers of, of it. And some of them actually do become addicts just like some men. So let us pray, pray away that problem, that sin, so we can have healthy lives, values, families, morality here in America and around the world. Pray in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.